Hey guys, it's Ro. Today we are going to be making some DIY Father's Day gifts. I'm very close with my dad, Papa Pizza. You may remember him. He came to help me bake on an episode of Nerdy Nemmies and we made some Olaf treats together. I'm going to be making gifts based on things that my dad loves. For example, my dad loves grilling. So the first thing that we're going to be making are these barbecue grill themed cupcakes. To make these treats, you'll need a chocolate cake recipe. I'm using a Nerdy Nummy original recipe, but you can use whatever recipe is your favorite. The ingredients are four eggs, one and a third cups of all-purpose flour, one and a third cups of sugar, two third cup of brown sugar, one cup of sour cream, two third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, one third cup of water, one fourth cup of vegetable oil, two teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Then to decorate, you'll need some candies, Mike and Ike's, dots, orange sugar sprinkles, toothpicks, gray frosting with a number three tip, food decorating pens, and some Werther's chewy caramels. The tools you'll need will be one large mixing bowl, a medium mixing bowl, electric hand mixer, whisk, rubber spatula, a cupcake tray, I'm using a nonstick by Wilton, and black cupcake liners. In a big mixing bowl, we are gonna whisk together our dry ingredients minus the sugars. We'll come back for those in a minute. So add your cocoa powder, flour, salt, cinnamon, baking soda, and baking powder. Now those are whisked together, we are gonna add our sugars and whisk again. Now that the dry ingredients are all mixed together, we are gonna set this off to the side and we're gonna mix together our wet ingredients. In a medium-sized bowl, you're gonna combine your water, four eggs, and vanilla extract and whisk together until everything's evenly combined. Then add your sour cream, and vegetable oil and mix one more time. Now we've got our dry and wet ingredients and now we're gonna make a little well in the middle of our dry ingredients. I like to pretend I'm a little groundhog. You just make a little hole. And then we're gonna pour our wet ingredients in the middle of the well. Now you're gonna mix together on a medium speed until everything's well combined. Once your batter is all mixed together, we're gonna scoop our batter about two thirds full into our little cupcake trays and heat your oven to 350 and bake for 18 minutes. Once your cupcakes have baked and they've had plenty of time to cool, we are gonna decorate. The first thing you're gonna do is take your orange sugar sprinkles and we're gonna sprinkle them on top of the cupcake. No frosting needed. These are gonna look like the charcoal embers. Now take your gray frosting. I've just dyed some vanilla buttercream frosting gray with a little bit of black food coloring dye. I put it into a plastic bag with the number three tip at the end and you're just gonna frost on lines to look like the barbecue grill. Now we're gonna make some cute little food out of candy to put on the grill. The first thing I'm gonna make are little hot dogs. We've got our Mike and Ike's and I've separated all the red ones. Then I'm gonna take the black edible food pen and just draw little lines to make it look like a grilled hot dog. Now we're gonna make some little meat patties. You're gonna grab your caramel chews and unwrap them and you can shape them to look like a t-bone steak or a chicken wing or a chicken thigh whatever you like and then we're just gonna take your black edible pen again and draw little grill lines on it then we're just gonna place it on top now last but not least we're gonna make some candy kebabs I love kebabs they are delicious so you're gonna take a little toothpick and you're gonna eyeball it. it's a little bit too long so you're just gonna break it then you're gonna take your little dots and a sharp cutting knife and you're gonna cut them into chunks and put them onto your toothpick. And there you have it, the barbecue grill themed cupcakes to go with the cupcakes. I wanted to give my dad a grill spatula set for when he actually does grill. I really like giving gifts that are simple and useful and then you can customize them with a personal card or a funny little tag. The things you will need will be a thoughtful gift of your choosing. I picked a barbecue tool set. You'll also need some craft paper, pens, ribbon, a pair of scissors, and a hole punch to make a custom tag. Now we're gonna make a silly custom tag. My family loves telling corny jokes and using puns, so this card is really gonna reflect that. I've just got some tan crafts paper here, and then I've printed off a tag size online. I made a template down below in Photoshop, so I'll put a link to that if you're interested in using something this size. So then you're just gonna take your scissors and then cut these tags out. 
Then you're gonna take your hole puncher and line it up with the hole right here. Then with your fine tip markers, you're gonna write a little personalized message. And here's where you can have fun with it. Like if you got your dad a tool set, you could say, to the biggest tool I know. <laughs> to the best flippin' dad. Ah, you get it? Flippin'? You flip on the grill? Here we go, we got our little tag, and now we're gonna spruce up our gift. I know that my dad really wanted one of these and he's not gonna return it, so I'm gonna get rid of this wrapping and I'm gonna make my own. Sometimes a little bit of repackaging goes a long way. I really like to repackage gifts just to make them look super cute. This part is totally optional, but it's just something that I love to do to give it a little personal touch. Doo -doo, there you have it, a very simple and useful gift with a very funny tag. The next Father's Day gift idea we are going to make is Dad's stash jar. My dad has such an awesome mustache. He's had a mustache since he was in seventh grade. I don't even know what he looks like without it. So I had to make him a jar to stash, uh, 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 get it, his favorite candies. The things you will need will be some of Dad's favorite candies, a glass jar, chalkboard sticker labels, and some white opaque markers. The first thing that you're gonna do is find a clean jar. I've reused a candle jar, so I get these candles all the time from Michaels, and then when I'm done using them, I pour some boiling water into them, and I wash them out, takes all the wax out of there, and then, da da you can reuse the jar. Now you're gonna take your two white opaque markers. These are my two personal favorite for drawing on chalkboard paper. This one is a paint pen by Sharpie. And then this one is an opaque marker pen by Recollections. And they're both fine tip and they both work really well. So first I'm gonna draw a little mustache and then on the top right dad and then on the bottom right stash, dad stash. Once you finish decorating your label, you're gonna peel it off and stick it on the side of the jar. Now for the yummy part. You're gonna open the top and stuff it full of candy. My dad loves chocolate, so I got a ton of different chocolate candies that I know he'll like. And if your dad doesn't have a sweet tooth, that's okay. You can fill his stash jar with any of his favorite snacks, whether it's peanuts or pretzels, whatever. I'm actually gonna hide a little hidden gift in his stash jar. I found this online. It's a guitar pick. My dad loves music. He plays almost every instrument ever. His favorite are the strings though. He's got a ukulele, mandolin, and guitar. And he's got old picks. So I found this online. It's so cute. It's a guitar pick with a heart in the middle and it says, couldn't have picked a better dad. Oh, this was such a cute idea. And when I find a cute idea, I love to share it. So I'm just going to stash this in here. Do, do, do. You know, it'll be a little hidden surprise. I'm taking the red ribbon from the last gift. I just wanted to add a little bit of extra flair. This part is totally optional, don't need to. You're just gonna cut a piece of ribbon and tie it around the top with the bow. And there you have it, a very simple, customizable dad stash jar. Finally, we are gonna be making some bacon sugar cookies. These do not have bacon in them, but they do look like little bacon strips. The things you will need will be some sugar cookie dough. You can use your favorite sugar cookie recipe. I'm using my official Nerdy Dummies sugar cookie recipe. I'll put a link down below if you wanna use this one. You'll also need a hand mixer, a cookie pan, parchment paper, wooden skewers, and some red food coloring. The first thing you're gonna do is separate your sugar cookie dough into three bowls evenly, and we're gonna dye one pink, one red, and one we're gonna leave normal. The cool thing about this is you only need one color, so to make pink, we're just gonna use one drop of red. You can mix by hand, but I like using a hand mixer. Then mix it up. We got our pink color, and now we are gonna mix our red. Put a bunch of drops of red and mix it up until you get a deep red color. Now that we've colored our dough, we are gonna wrap each one individually in some clean wrap. So you're just gonna take a spoon and scoop it in there and fold it up tight. We're gonna do this to the rest of our doughs and pop them in the fridge for 30 minutes to chill. After your cookie dough has chilled, we are now gonna layer it on top of a piece of parchment paper to look like bacon when we cut into it, starting with red on the bottom. So you're gonna unwrap your red cookie dough. The dough is a little bit sticky, so you can just take a little pinch of flour in your hands. Moving around, boop, boop, boop. This is the fun part. Now we're gonna make peaks and valleys with our bottom layer, so just karate chop. <laughs> there we go. 
There's a valley. Now for the middle layer, we are gonna alternate using the tan normal dough and pink dough on top of the red. Now we're gonna add the third layer, which is the regular colored dough. We're gonna add a really thin layer all across the top. Now I'm just gonna move this to a cookie sheet and pop it in the freezer for about 20 minutes to chill and then we're gonna cut some slices. While our cookie dough is in the freezer, we are gonna prep our baking pan. Over here, I've got a sheet of parchment paper cut to fit the size of the pan and you're gonna take your wooden skewers and you're gonna place them underneath the parchment paper so that when we lay the cookie bacon strips on top, it will create waves in the cookie so they will look just like bacon. Pretty cute. After your cookie dough has chilled in the freezer, you're gonna take a sharp cutting knife and cut little cookie strips and place them on top of your baking sheet. Once you got all your bacon sugar cookies on your cookie sheet, you're gonna set your oven to 375 and bake for about seven to nine minutes. The thicker the cookie dough, the longer they'll need to bake, and you wanna keep your eye on them so they won't brown. I've spaced them about an inch and a half apart so that when they expand, they won't touch each other, and I'm gonna make a few more batches. Once your cookies have baked, you're gonna take them out of the oven and you're gonna leave them on the pan. You're not gonna move them to a drying rack. You're gonna leave them right here because you want them to keep the wave shape. Oh, look at that, looks like a little strip of bacon. Da -da! Here are all the DIY Father's Day gift ideas that we made today. We made barbecue grill themed cupcakes. And to go with that, we have a barbecue tool set with a cute little funny custom card, dad's stash jar filled with his favorite candies, and some bacon sugar cookies. I'll be posting lots of pictures of all of these gift ideas on Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you guys make any of these creations, please take a photo and send it to me. I love to reblog them and repost them. I just love seeing your baking creations. Or if you make any other fun Father's Day gift ideas, I would love to see them. If you wanna learn more about the different types of bakeware that I use today, I teamed up with Wilton and I made a video over on their channel. I'll put a link down below if you wanna go check it out. I talk about what type of bakeware are best for certain types of treats. All right, thanks for watching. Happy Father's Day! Bye-bye!